last video, my neighbours won't stop doing DIY, but I'm still filming these videos anyway, and hopefully it's not too loud and you can still hear me over the annoyance next door. And um, this video is going to be my top five lip products. Now this was really, really difficult to narrow down. If you've seen my makeup collection video, you've seen how many lipsticks and lip glosses I have, um, but when it came to it, I was kind of like, well, do you know, these are just the ones that I use the most, and these are the ones that I really, really enjoy, um, and I always, always will what's the word, I won't regret wearing them, kind of sometimes you put something on and halfway through the day you think oh that looks really garish or whatever, like I love Impassioned by Mark, my Speak Louder which is a little bit of a tamed down version of it, but I'm not going to put those in my favourites because sometimes I do put them on and I think hmm, it was a little bit much, whereas all of these are perfect, perfect, perfect lip colours for every day, I might do kind of a, my favourite bright separately if you're interested in that, leave me a comment or give me a thumbs up below. Um, so these are kind of my everyday colours. Uh, first I'm going to start with a lip gloss from Gosh, which I've had for about two years. Um, I haven't used it up and I don't know how. It's kind of difficult to tell how much I've used because it's really, really opaque and the, the tube is kind of covered, it's like coated with the lip gloss. Um, but it's one of those ones that has got a light and a mirror. And it's one of the first ones that I'd seen that had this in it, so it was quite a long time ago that I got this, but I was so, so impressed because it's so opaque. It's the most opaque lip gloss I've ever, ever tried, and I have this, I have one, this is 301, I have 302, which is a more taupey, pinky brown colour, and they're absolutely amazing, amazing, just, they've got the most pigmentation for a lip gloss I've ever, ever tried, and I've used this so, so much, and I would definitely recommend that you give them a go, if they even still make them, hopefully they do. But it's a Gosh Intense Lip Colour, so it's not really a lip gloss, I suppose, it is a lipstick in a lip gloss tube, but it's very, very glossy as well. Love that. Um, the next thing is the L'Oreal Paris Caress, which is in 101 Tempting Lilac, and it's what I have on my lips today. I will just reapply. I'm not going to swatch in this video just because my camera doesn't autofocus and you won't be able to see it very well, so I have done a swatch post on my new website and I will link that below for you to check out there. Um, but I really enjoy this as well. Tempting Lilac, I have them, I think I have four or five shades of this. I was going to pick the Fuchsia one, but I sometimes, like I say, sometimes you regret wearing a really, really bright lipstick. So it was kind of between this and the Sweet Berry, which is a little bit more of a, um, a reddish tone. But this is more of an everyday colour for me, and it's kind of a, a purpley, well, lilac. <laughs> a purpley pink. Really like that. Mega, mega moisturising. And, um really quite glossy as well. It's just a really nice one to have in your handbag. If it smudges, it's not that big a deal. You can touch it up without a mirror. I really like the L'Oreal Caressas. Um, the next one is this e.l.f. Hypershine Gloss. I say this all the time. I talk about this all the time. I've had it in videos. I've done it in um, tutorials. Can I remember what it's called? No. If I find out, I will link it below. Well, it'll be in my blog post. Um, but every time I talk about it, I think, why didn't I look this up before the video? And it's nowhere on the tube. No, it's not coming to me. You can check it out in the blog post below and you can see what the name of it was and the swatch and whatever, but I wear this loads in videos and people always ask what it is and I always will put in my um, down bar what I'm wearing on my lips, on my nails, which is nothing at the moment actually. Um, so you can always find out there if you've got questions, but this, oh it drives me mad. I think it's called Vixen. Mmm, I think it's called Vixen. I'm going to go for that, but it's a really, really gorgeous, like, it's not that sheer actually, but it's kind of a ready pink. Really nice from e.l.f. and that's from their basic range, it's only £1.50. Um, the next one, if you've been watching me for a while, you'll expect me to talk about, it's Miner's Max... What is going on? I can't just have some peace and quiet to make a 10 minute video. <sighs> okay, Miner's The Matte Factor Lip Paint in Peach. I have this um, in all the different colours, and this is my favourite, and I... If I could only have one lip product for the rest of my life, it would be this one. It stays on your lips because it is matte. It comes in this little tube, so it's easy to apply. One thin layer, doesn't crack, doesn't crumble, doesn't wear off funny. It's just amazing. Absolutely love it. And the colour is so, so nice. It's more of a pink than a peach, I would say. Um, but I just really, really, really love it. I would definitely recommend that you give those a go. And I think they're like 2 or 3 99 It's not expensive at all. Um, and the last product I want to talk about is this. My only MAC um, lipstick I'm going to feature, if I was talking about brights, I would probably talk a lot about MAC lipsticks just because um, MAC lipsticks and MAC blushes are kind of my 
my thing from MAC. I'm not massive on their face products, their foundations. I'm not gonna buy an eyeliner pencil from MAC because it's just a big waste of money. But I think their lipsticks, they have a lot of really unique colors and I love, love, love their blushes. Um, so lipsticks I have a lot of and I would probably go to them for a really nice bright. If you wanted a bright, and my recommendation would definitely be Impassioned, um, but this is my ultimate Your Lips Book Better colour, and it's probably the MAC lipstick, or probably lipstick of any kind in a tube, that I've used most of all. As you can see, the only kind of lipstick that I mentioned other than that was the L'Oreal Caress, which really isn't a lipstick, it's more like of a lip tint. It's kind of like a tinted lip balm, if anything. Um, so I'm not massive on lipsticks, I more prefer glosses and balms and stuff. But this is a really, really nice colour. It's another one that if it wears off, it's not a big deal because it's not too bright. Um, it's just a really nice kind of mauvey brown. Your lips put better colour. Um, and I absolutely love it. My next purchase from MAC, I think, will be, this is the Viva Glam 5, will be the Viva Glam 5 Lip Gloss, which will I will wear over the top of it. I think that will probably be my next purchase from MAC, um, from the permanent line. I haven't bought anything from them since, like, Christmas. Um, So they are my top five lip products for International Kissing Day. I hope you all get lots of kisses and enjoy the day. And um, if you haven't already, please go and subscribe to my channel. Check out my website below, which is all new and I'm really pleased with it now. And um, I also post all of my videos on the website now, which I didn't used to. So if you don't subscribe to this channel, then subscribe over there and you won't miss any. And that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. Check out my links below and I will see you next time. Bye.